In this video, we'll demonstrate how you can insert uValue to building components in order to perform heat load calculation. First, you can insert the uValue in a component level by selecting the component in the building model, like this, okay? Or you can also set the uValue in a room level. So you select the room function, you select the room, and then in a tab uValue, you can set the uValues, okay? You can also set the uValues in the story level. You select the story function, and then you see the uValues of the complete story. You can also set the uValue for the complete building at once. You come to the building function, and then you see the components of the complete building, all right? To set the uValue, I will double click first this exterior wall. By selecting the Add New button, we open the installation product database. So I will insert some components one by one. After I have inserted all these layers, I can give the thickness in a column thickness. When we finish inserting the thickness for all the layers that we have defined, we see in the results the uValue for this wall, for this exterior wall, okay? And also the weight area and the calculated thickness, all right? Now I click OK, and the exterior wall for this complete building has been set up. Now, there is another way to insert the uValues. Uh, we could, for instance, get this window and instead of inserting layers, of course, we can manually insert the UVELO. We click on the manual here, and we already have this UVELO of 1.2. We click OK, OK. In the column layers, it displays that it has been inserted manually. I will do the same for the others. Okay, I have finished to insert the U values for this complete building. Now I'll click OK and we can see the result in 3D. I will use the function render. I will select one uh, render mode like render shader cartoon and I can use the function visualization filter so I can activate the U value analysis and I can see the rooms that do not have any U value or it has a U value uh, equal to zero or higher than two or lowest U value, okay? I will use transparency so we can see like this. 